everybody, Tyler here from SeanPros.com. I have again here today another Mac tips or even an iPhone tip. Um, I'm going to show you how to, in iTunes, create a ringtone up to 30 seconds long to be able to put onto your iPhone and then use it as um, a ringtone, basically. You can use any song in the iTunes library or bring a song in from somewhere else into iTunes and make it. It's um, You basically do code certain things to do it the right way. But it basically doesn't, it, you don't have to pay the $1.29 that Apple charges. You can do it with your own song, which I think is awesome because paying it off 39 for what you already have is kind of stupid. So go ahead and click on iTunes here. I got iTunes uh, open up here. I'm going to use a song um, from my favorite band, uh, Cutlass. Really great band. I highly recommend you check them out. Um, we're going to be using a song from uh, To Know You're Alive um, album. Um, album, if I can say it correctly. Um, we, they use the first song here. The one I would use is called um, "Feeling" or "Feeling," uh, whatever you want to say it. So you might be able to hear that, but um, I can't play all the song. I don't want to get copyright infringement on it. But you can play up to thirty seconds from any part of the song. I'm going to do it from the very beginning to about. I think I want to do it to. Let's see. Was it? 28 seconds I wanted to do it to is where he stops singing the first line. So what you can do is here's a song right here. Um, you're going to click on um, right click on it and you're going to uh, click on um, get info. And once you're here and let's double check this. I'm going to go over to options. I'm going to um, this part here is where the very beginning of it is and um, the start time. And I'm going to click there. And then right here, I'm going to click zero. And this part, I'm going to click back as well. And then right here, I want to click that to eight. So it's from zero time to eight seconds. And then. Um, and then I'm just going to click OK. And then, um, okay, so it's ready now for me to do the part next part to it. And then we're going to click on the right click again. And then go down here and, and click on create ACC AAC vision or version. I can't read today. It's having a hard time seeing the screen. So I click there. And you see it just doubled the song here and it has the 28 second parts of it. So next you're going to. Right click on this again, on this new one, on the 22nd, 28th version one. Click on that and uh, go to, where is it? Show in Finder. And you see your song showing up in Finder right here. And um, what I'm going to do is down here. Now this is part where it gets kind of confusing. Here, here you are in your Finder and here's the song right here. Don't worry about all this other stuff because that's just nonsense or whatever that um, it does but right here you're going to see the song it says one the feeling one l 4 a and that means it's an audio version so what you're going to do is is you're going to click on it to like um, change the title whatever and you're going to take out the a and put in an r a lowercase all r and then click out of it and then this is going to prompt you here are you sure you want to change the um explanation from elm 4a to elm 4r and you want to click click on use dot elm 4r and that's going to make their ringtone so next what you're going to do is is you're going to drag it onto your desktop i'm just going to drag it up here i'm going to x out of this part and then you're going to next part you're going to Go back to here, and this part right here, you want to delete that. So go ahead, and um, that's the 28 second version in your iTunes. Now, what you want to do is go down to delete, and now it's gone. And sometimes it will prompt you. I have that setting taken off. If asking if you want to save it or do whatever, click put to trash can, do not save it. So then, um, 
and the other song's still on your desktop, and what you do is double click, and you see it here playing. And it's playing in the background there in my ringtones. It's going to start loading once the song all the way is there. And um, then it's going to, right now it's loading into the actual computer, the 22nd version of the song. And yes, I know I'm talking over the song because I don't want to hear the full song because uh, of copyright issues. But it's only 30 seconds, so it shouldn't be any main problem. So you see the song loaded real quickly there. So if I go down here to tones, which is ringtones, and um, then the song is right there. There you go. The 20 second version, uh, Cutlass, To Know You're Alive, uh, The Feeling. And there's a song right there. And that's one legit, guys. Now it's in your iTunes account. Or, and not in your, in your iTunes. No, it's in your account, basically. And um, you can put it on, on, on any of your devices, especially your iPhone, any of your iOS devices to use. And um, I'll show you here in another video on how to upload it onto your phone and uh, get all that situated and um, show you how to do that um, here in a second. And then I'll make a separate video on how to um, actually on your iPhone what it looks like and stuff and do another cool thing I want to show you all. So that's pretty much it, guys. And uh, I'll jump right back to the um, other view once I get my iPhone plugged up and whatnot. Okay, everybody, we're back here, and you see we're still in iTunes here. Um, here's the uh, tones on uh, your ringtones and your iTunes account, and there's all the ones I have. If you go down here, here's my phone on uh, Tyler's iPhone. My name is Tyler, and I just plugged it up, and you see here, and you have um, all your information down here, of course, like normal. But go up here and click on tones, and you see here it says um, sync tones as um, I'm going to click there. And go ahead and click on that. And um, I'm all, I'm just gonna keep it on all tones, and it's sh I already synced it, so it should work. It should work fine because I already ha I just synced my iPhone, so it's all there. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. Always stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys in the next. Hopefully, I have another iPhone video coming out here, here soon, showing you how to use the iPhone uh, with the ringtones and everything, and show you how to set it up on uh, for personal ringtones for certain people, which is a really cool thing you can do on the iPhone. Something I never really knew about until a friend of mine told me about it, and I never seen a video about it. And it might be some now, but when I checked, there weren't any. So stay tuned for that, and um, always come in right. And subscribe if you want to know more videos are out. And um, always click on add to help support the channel. Like I said, click the like button, help support us. Leave a nice comment. Tell me I'm a, a jerk, a douchebag, whatever you want to call me. I, I'm good for um, the trolls. But um, always stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys next time.